Good day, everybody. Uh, it's Saya here from the Red Deer Museum and Art Gallery. I am an art educator. Uh, today, I'm going to be bringing you a Mag Saturday project that you can do at home. Uh, we'll be exploring textile art and printmaking. And what we're going to do is make our very own custom printed patches. Uh, these are really fun. You can fix a pair of pants with them. You can put them on a bag. Um, they're really neat. You can draw an image or you can put words on it. So, you know, if you've got a positive message that you want to like put on your sweater, this is how you're going to do that. So the materials you're going to need for this project. First off, you're going to want a pencil and you don't want it to be sharp. We're not sharpening these. Uh, if you have one that's too sharp, scribble it on some paper. You're going to need a Sharpie. You're going to need a piece of paper so that you can draw your design, sketch it, and transfer it. You're going to need some scissors, some cardboard. You're going to need glue. You are Next, going to need foam. Uh, so this is a great opportunity to use some household items. I've got an egg carton here that you can very, very easily take your scissors, make a hole, and then cut a square out of. You'll end up with something like this. Uh, you want to avoid any of these curved edges, of course, though. You want it nice and flat. Uh, our next item that we're going to have on our materials list is a flat surface covered in tin foil to roll your ink onto. Uh, the tin foil is so that your ink does not absorb into whatever your surface is. You're going to need some fabric. Uh, just, you know, find something that's a scrap that you're upcycling, recycling, cut out the size of fabric you want. You're going to need two jars. One will get dirty, one will stay clean. And the last thing you need is some sort of ink. Now, I use fabric block printing ink specifically for these type of projects. But what you can do if you don't have that is use acrylic paint. They are a very similar consistency and acrylic paint hardens into a plastic-like substance, so it should be fairly durable on fabric. So your first step is going to be drawing your design. So. If you are doing this patch printing project for the first time, I highly recommend drawing something quite simple. So what I've got is I've got some, you know, like a flower, a little sunshine, some clouds. Uh, if you're going for an image, go for something quite simple that doesn't have a lot of uh, tiny little crevices that you have to draw into, because this will make it much easier to make your printing block. So what I have chosen to do for my design today is I decided to do some lettering. I'm going to make this nice little patch that says be kind because, you know, things are tough, things are weird right now, and we all got to be kind to each other. So the thing with letters when you're printing is that when you print letters, if you draw them forwards, they're going to print backwards. So what you're going to want to do is write your message the way you would normally. Just write it forward, but do it in Sharpie so that it bleeds through your paper. And then once you've got your message, you know, written, you can flip it over and there's your mirror image of your words. So once you've got that done, you're going to take your piece of foam and remember, keep that mirror image where it is. I'm going to just do the heart to keep this nice and quick because I already have my final um, good to go here. So once you've got your image or your words written down once you've got them mirrored you're gonna take that blunt pencil and you're not gonna poke downwards you're gonna kind of hold it on its side fairly gently and etch into your foam 
I'm just going to do the heart to keep this nice and easy. And there you go. It's etched into your foam there. Now to make uh, your print block, you're going to start carving in a little with a little more pressure with your blunt pencil until you've got a nice sharp image you're you know quite confident that it looks how you want it to then you can use the end of your pen to really push that foam down and you can see that it's uh, that's gonna be your background that's your reductive area your blank space this is what's gonna print because it's further forward it's closer to you uh, so this is what I ended up with once I finished uh, you know, going in, not forgetting to, you know, get really in between any letters that I want. So now you're, once you've got this, I cut around any excess, I glued it to the cardboard, let it sit, let it dry, and now we are ready to ink. So I've got my inking station here. I'm going to use my fabric ink, but again, feel free to use acrylic. You don't need too much. Just put a little bit on like that. And this is where you're going to take your smaller jar, get your fabric ready, and you're going to take this guy and you're going to roll, 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 roll. Oh. Until you get a pretty nice even coating of ink and whoop, try not to get your fingers in it and then you're going to roll it onto your foam onto your design this is going to give you a nice even distribution you can always pick a little more ink up if you need it There we are, so it's nice and inked. And the next thing now, big moment of truth. See how this is gonna turn out. We put our fabric down, and then you're gonna very gently, very carefully place your printing block down on there. You're gonna take your clean jar, and now make sure that it doesn't squiggle around, wiggle around on your fabric. Keep a hand on your block and really put some pressure down and push that ink into the fibers of your piece of fabric. All right, so now we're gonna see how this turned out. It's probably, your fabric's probably gonna stick to your block so you can just do that press it a little more because I'm like hoping it shows up okay and the big reveal let's see oh yeah look at that there we go so now you have a custom patch that you can put on whatever you want now if you have used fabric ink you're going to want to heat set it uh, I just use a George Foreman girl and like you know that I found a value village uh, and just put it between two pieces of parchment paper, throw it in a, like, one of those closing grills, leave it there for a minute or two, pull it out. That'll make sure your fabric ink does not wash off. Uh, acrylic, you don't have to do that. Uh, so yeah, custom patches, lots of fun. So, thank you for joining us, and see you next time.